put some place mats under the four sittings here, and it'll be a little more festive. My mother-in-law wants to put some placemats under the, the, the place settings on the Passover table here. Right here. It's going to look more festive. Right here, just here. Over here. Okay. We got the whole, the whole upstairs. We got the whole upstairs ready for the Seder. It's dark in here. It's dark in here because, you know, it's, it's nighttime. We're getting everything ready for the Seder tomorrow. That's what's happening in here. We got we got we got enough spots for tidy people. I think we got a guest list of twenty nine. We got one extra spot in case Elijah shows up. So you know it's gonna be good. We gotta make some horseradish. We gotta get the grinder ready. Grinder? We got a grinder attachment for the kitchen aid. We're gonna use okay, that. And then we gotta get some other ingredients too. What 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 goes in the horseradish, Zadie? Horseradish. Sugar and white vinegar. And that's it. What about Evan Williams? It goes in the cook. Okay, and then if you want red horseradish, you get some beets. Beets, and then you see if you need more sugar. But and you then you see if you need more sugar. The red is just for the. Yeah. Now people might be wondering where the horseradish is. What What do we do with a horseradish? The horseradish gets buried for a couple of weeks before Pesach because it makes it even stronger. That's right. So I bought the horseradish at the store two weeks ago. I buried it on the ground. This is, you know, this is the rituals. You gotta do these rituals for the, for the, for the Seder, for the Passover, have a good one. So we're gonna do this tomorrow. But tonight we're getting set up. <laughs> okay, we, we're gonna, we gotta dig up the horseradish now. This is what makes it real good. According to, you know, fam family, uh, family tradition and family recipe. Gotta get the irrigation equipment out of the way here. We gotta be real careful not to, you know, not to make the shovel go through the horseradish. We buried it down here about two weeks ago. It's going nice and easy. Take her out of there. I know it's in here someplace. I don't want to stab it with a shovel. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, there's one. One right there. Leave the ice in there. Okay, there's another one. I think that's all I got. I'm sure I only bought two. Yeah, I don't feel any more down here. All right, I'll put my wife's soil back in, back in place. Put the irrigation. All right, now we wash it off with a hose because you don't you don't want to tighten in your garbage disposal, as my uh, my father-in-law pointed out. We don't want that. Clog up your sink, mess it up. Yeah. All right, that's good. All right, now we got to peel. We're working outside because. You know, the horseradish, when it's real potent, you know, you don't let... Okay, there we go. Are right, you in there? Yes. Uh, let me get a little bit of zoom. There, I think that's nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, now. All right, so the first thing, we got to grind it all up here. And you got to be patient with this. So... My mixing direct the direction of my mixer says you got to put it on speed four. So I put it on speed number four. I got this thing screwed on tight. We're just going to put it in a little bit at a time, and it's going to start coming out. It's hard work for the mixer. So you just go a little. It's coming! It's coming! It's coming out. You don't want to overload it. So I don't even I don't even use this thing too much unless nothing's really moving. Because the horseradish is tough. You gotta check the temperature of your mixer so it's not overheating. Oh yeah, you don't want to mix it overheat. You hear the motor start to slow down, you you stop adding. It's spritzing. Look at that. Uh, 
you had a hand grinder. Boy, that would be a real labor of love if we used a hand grinder. The hand grinder's in the drawer. In the drawer. Yeah, yeah. The hand grinder don't see be. don't see much use. <laughs> hand grinder is good for zest, lemon zest. Hand grinder is good for baby food. <laughs> Lucky this is a nice windy day. Yep. Or we'd be already crying. Little by little, dropping the pieces in. And we're just gonna do this until it's all uh, it's all good. You're yeah, safe to say gel in it. We got we also, of course, since it's Passover, you know, Mr. Williams gets a little break. We got uh, Mr. Jelinek here, kosher for Passover Slivovitz, so you know, we're keeping it real over here. And the reason it's kosher for Passover is there's no grain in it. It's made from plums. There's no grain. It's all plums. We also got some uh, some potato vodka, you know, just in case we need reinforcements. And I think, you know, between the Manischewitz and the Slivovitz, we're probably all set for today. Just for a day. And for one day. All right, that's it. We got all the horseradish ground up. We got a nice big bowl of it. Now it's time to make two kinds. We're gonna make red and white. So what do we do, Dad? Well, first of all, you put, separate the bowls. All right. About so maybe half and half. Half and however half. However you wanna do it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Whew. Wow, I just got a whiff. Oh! Hell you get yeah. a whiff of it? Whiff of that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right here. Good stuff, Right huh? here, good whiff. So take a whiff of that before you add the vinegar and but, then after. But don't take a big whiff with your nose down in it. Be you're going to you be can... blind. Yeah, you can waft it. Yeah. You can waft it with your hand up to your nose a little bit. And then you, uh, then you, you okay. start to feel now, like it's passive. Open up a can of... Uh... Whoop-ass? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Put in, a, yeah, drip in some uh, <coughs> vinegar in each one. All right, you tell me when. Uh, you need a spoon. A little bit more of that. Okay, stop there. And then we'll add some more later. You can always add more, but it's and hard to take it out. One because the beet juice is going to be part yeah, of it. Yeah, we're going to have beet juice in that one. Now we're going to open up a can of beets. Yeah, how much liquid is there? Not much. Okay, good. Okay. Not much liquid, not much liquid. Even in this one, is not, you know, it's not. Yeah, you'll, we'll add more, but now the beets, you want to put in the beets first before you add the liquid. Put in the beets before you add the liquid. Yeah, yep. All right, we're opening up the beets here. Another good reason to do this outside, beets sustain everything. All right, so we're just going to put the beets in the grinder, right? Yeah. Okay. And you might add some juice later, but we have to check it out. Yeah, for now, we, you know, we'll save the juice. Don't dump off the juice yet. You might want it for your horseradish. When do we do the sugar? After this pot? Yeah. I'll put the sugar in after this. Do one whole can or should I get another can too? I think one whole can to start with. One whole can to start with, see how it looks, see if it's red enough. All right, now the beets are very soft because they're all cooked, you know, in a can there, so. These, you, it makes a lovely noise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that noise is going to come true on a camera. <laughs> Makes a lovely noise. <laughs> lovely noise, the Passover noise. Yeah, but this, uh, you know, your, your, your mix of grinder isn't going to have any trouble at all with the, uh, with the beets. They're real easy, so you just dump them all in at once. Not like the horseradish. All right, now let's mix this up. More beets. More beets. It's not red enough. And it's not red enough. We need more beets. Another can of beets. Good thing that we went out and got another can of beets. What two? It's a real good thing. You were right. Dad was right. He said we need more beets. We got more beets. Good thing we did it. First time good today. Thing. Before Shabbos. Before before good Passover thing. starts. Good thing. Good thing. Good thing. Good we thing had, we, went we had to go. We had to go out. Good thing we did that. I even got an extra can, just in case two cans isn't enough. Here comes more beets. You gotta love that noise. That <laughs> is... Sounds of Passover. Sounds of Passover. <laughs> Add to our record. It's something we'll hear later, after the meal. 
This is a lot of Passover. <laughs> tilt it forward a little bit. Help, help the juice get out of there. All right, beautiful. All right, let's see what that looks like. I think that's yeah. yeah that's it's right. getting to be the right color. It's a deep, rich red. Is that enough? You yeah, think? Taste it. You gotta taste it. Oh, you it. didn't put the sugar in. We didn't put any sugar in yet. Yeah. All right. How much sugar are we gonna start with? A handful. A handful in each in each bowl. Uh, the yeah. white too. Yeah. All right. That much. Good. That much? Yeah. All okay. Right. Handful of sugar. Not a spoonful. Not a spoon. A handful. A handful. Let's mix it up. Oh, getting in my eyes. No, it's Whoa. getting in my eyes. Woo. I got that left. It needs more vinegar. Yeah, it needs the white needs more vinegar. Yeah, that is powerful. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Yeah. We're close. It's close. The vinegar is for chemistry and flavor. So is your sugar. The whole thing's about chemistry. You put it through the grinder, you're breaking up all the cells. That's why you get so much more spice out of it, because you're busting up all the horseradish cells. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Woo! That's why we outside. That's why we outside. This is the real thing. <laughs> ah, okay. It's, it's the real thing. Let me take a all right, let's taste. taste it. Let's taste the white horseradish now. Oh, it's good. Oh! I don't think it needs anything else, does it? The white's done. Done. Seal it. Yep, we gotta seal it up quick. All right. Can we shut this off? Huh? Sure. Here's my sister-in-law. Packing it up in a mason jar. We're gonna seal it up Pack real it good up. and tight. Seal it. Shove it in there. Real good and tight, so you know we, no we keep all that heat for the seder tonight. We're gonna really enjoy it. We're gonna feel the suffering and redemption. That's right. That's right. Open up our senses. Beautiful. Stay alive. That's right. L'chaim. The redemption is when you come to after fading. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got. It's almost perfect here. I we got about can, a. I think I can do it. Almost a whole pint, oh. more than a whole pint of uh, white horseradish, and now we're gonna go finish the red. Okay, let's see. I think Perfect. we can do it. Can we do it? Oh yeah. Oh beautiful. Oh look That's at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. I'm crying over here. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> crying of it's joy. so good. Tears of joy. Tears of joy and happiness. Joy and bitterness all together. Yeah. The complexities of life. One combo. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you put the sugar in. We put the sugar in, we put the vinegar in, and we put the beets in. It's looking pretty juicy to me. Mixing it up now. Let's uh, let's take a taste, huh? Give it a whiff, yeah. Could be still pretty hot. Oh, sweet and hot. Let me Ooh. taste that. Got the red. Got it in the sinuses. Yep. That is good. Ah. <laughs> 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 the horseradish so good. <laughs> It goes right through you. Zadie, Zadie, created a, Zadie created a little expression of joy. Is that the video? I hope the video got the sound effects. Woo! Oh, man. I think it's hotter. Is that too strong for Rob? No. Okay. No. It's, really it's beautiful. Good. Oh my god! I think that's stronger. Why? I don't know. Because it's been sitting with the sugar oh, a little longer, man. maybe. Man, <laughs> I am crying of joy. Whoa! You have another jar? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh man. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, good work. That came out great. Yeah. Oh boy. Good taste. Here's the red horseradish. There's the red. 30 seconds is good. Got almost a, I don't know, pint and a half of that. Yeah. It's good and hot. We're going to put a mason jar with a good tight lid on it. Can I taste it? Super good. 
Mm. All right, there we go. There's the two jars of horseradish right there. Going to keep them sealed up real tight until it's time for the Seder. Put it, make the Hillel sandwiches out of them. Put it on gefilte fish, put it on brisket, whatever you want. You love it. Happy Passover, Rechai your meat and good health. Well, it's almost time. We got seating for 30 here. Going to get a few more folding chairs set up. We got seating for 30 here. Including using the couch, you know. And sometimes you got to improvise, uh, make room for having all these people at your Seder. So, you know, I even put my couch way up high because, hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do.